What's up everyone? This is your sexy Moth King Bart Coppens back again with another moth video. Do you remember that video I uploaded about uh, a month ago where I was raising all these uh, black and yellow caterpillars? If not, please let me refresh, refresh your mind for a second. Exactly, it was those caterpillars. Well, those were the caterpillars of the moth that you're seeing right now. This species here is the Nudarelia dione. A species that uh, lives in many countries in Africa and it's very easy to raise in captivity. They feed on a wide range of plants including cherry, prunus, sweet gum, liquid amber. Um, so I've heard they should also eat oak, quercus and even uh, perhaps sumac, rus. Turns out there's a lot of plants these guys are willing to eat in captivity. They're very easy to breed as well and the adults are absolute beauties. Uh, today I had the first specimen head here. As you can see, it's rather medium sized to big uh, moth species. What's really astonishing to me are its colors. Just look at that. It's such a richly detailed and beautiful species, in my opinion. And uh, really glad that I've been able to breed this uh, Nudarelia dione here. Now, this one is the first uh, to hatch out of potentially about. 20 uh, pupa so I really hope there's going to be a pairing of them as well it would be cool to uh, perhaps continue the bloodline if anything I could exchange some with friends for even more rare species but uh, this is a really recommended species to breed for both beginners and for uh, experienced breeders this is a species suitable for everyone kind of reminds us of Gronimbrasia. Some people will say, hey, it looks like Gronimbrasia crooky, uh, that the big yellow one that's very common in captivity. Yeah, yeah, the resemblance is there. Uh, Nudarelia and Gronimbrasia are actually allied quite closely, but uh, this is definitely a Nudarelia. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That's all I'm gonna show you today. Hope to see you again in uh, another video. Bye bye.